Hello and welcome to Big Dash Knows. Big Dash Knows what? New York Giants football. Let's go. Today's video is a preview of week two preseason and the Giants will be hosting the Cincinnati Bengals. And to tell you the truth, I'm not excited about this game and um, mainly because of all the injuries that are going on with the Giants right now. Um, you know, we have six offensive linemen out and then if you go down the line for running backs, tight ends, wide receivers, um, you know, two two in, at each of those positions are injured. And then we have Leonard Williams that won't be playing. Dane Belton, of course, won't be playing. So, you know, it, it, it leaves a lot to be desired when you get into preseason. This is the main evaluation time. You got people that are trying to make the team. You have coaches trying to implement the scheme. And, you know, you got the players trying to get the scheme down. And you really don't get a chance to see what the team looks like because of all these injuries. And I thought early in training camp, you know, that first week that we looked pretty good. You know, maybe we'll survive this this injury bug that happens to happen, you know, every season. But this week alone, man, it's just gotten ugly for the New York Giants. And I'm not the type to panic, but I'm just looking at the list of guys. And it's just like, who's left? Like, what do, what do we do if... if if these these guys get injured as well, we we just signed back two guys that we cut or waived a week ago, and you know we brought them back just because of the depth issues. And like I said, I'm not the type to worry, but that I, I can see the panic button. I'm looking at it, and um, we need to do something. Um, and I don't like I said injuries vary. We got elbows, knees, hammies, ankles, toes, you know everything. So um, I hope that these guys can get their rest, continue to heal getting to uh next week because we have that joint practice with the jets and i'm actually more excited about that practice than i am about this game just due to all these injuries but i still have keys and guys i want to um spotlight or highlight going into this game and i just want to get uh, right down into it so offense as a whole even though we're going to be missing these these offensive linemen and, and some receivers tight ends all these guys um, I want to see how they look. Um, I want to see Galladay and I want to see Wondell Robinson. Now, Galladay, you know, had a catch last week, you know, fine. Um, has had some criticism going into this week, you know, uh, with his effort, how he looked on some of these drills. Didn't look like he was putting in enough effort. You know, he stood at the podium and they asked him about practices and he's just like, OK with it. You know, that's not what you want to see, you know, from your, your wide receiver. Um, but like I said, he has a chance to, you know, win us all back if he has a good showing, you know, run some crisp routes, get a couple com completions or some catches from Daniel Jones to Tyrod Taylor. And, you know, you're back in the good graces. Wondell Robinson didn't even get a target last week. I want to see him get a target. I want to see him get a catch and make a play. You know what I mean? We, had, we got all the hype, you know, from minicamp, OTAs and training camp of how good Wondell Robinson is looking. And we've seen the highlights of the clips and stuff like that. But we want to see it on the NFL field against another NFL team. So hopefully Wondell Robinson can get some targets and some receptions and make some plays. Outside of that, I'm um, I'm pretty satisfied with what, I, with what I've seen from Saquon Barkley. Um, how they use him in the running game, how they're using him in the passing game. Again, he, he went out on the podium and was talking about how, you know, uh, he doesn't like how people say he's not a, a, a north and south runner. Last time I checked, you were not a north and south runner. You do dance a little bit. And um, I'm glad that you addressed it. And I'm glad that you feel the way that you do, because I'm one of those guys that said that you were a dancer. So I'm happy that you're upset. And hopefully you can bring that same energy, you know, in, in this season run some guys over 230 pounds let's get it so i'm happy that you address the uh the fan base and the media you know with on that topic um outside of that for the offense um just want to see how bellinger looks maybe more in the reception game i want to see how austin allen looks in the receiving game i'm sorry in the blocking game because he had some good catches last week this being austin allen um bellinger has some good catches too but i just want to see how they involve him more uh, with all the injuries to the offensive line do they keep him in line blocking where they're chipping and helping out possibly um i think that's something that they're going to do with evan neal is probably keep a tight end in there early to get, just to help him out a little bit and, and to chip a little bit but again, that's another guy I want to see, Evan Neal. You know, um, he didn't have a bad um, preseason game last week. A lot of people give him a lot of uh, grief. But um, if you saw one of the, the videos that I broke down of that of that that series, that first series, he did pretty good. You know, he he did um, give up the one sack. Well, 
his guy didn't actually make the sack. It was another guy that came free after Daniel Jones uh, broke that tackle. But still, you would like to see more from your highly drafted, you know, offensive lineman. And I think this is going to be a good test for him as well. Um, Andrew Thomas looks solid. Maybe one and done series for him. Daniel Jones, I would like him to play more, but behind this offensive line with these injuries, you can't really keep him protected. So, you know, you don't you don't want to send these guys out there to get hurt, but you still want to be able to send these guys out there so you can get a look at what this offense is going to look like. The scheme, the verbiage, they need to get this stuff down going into week one because we're not it's not a cakewalk in Tennessee. This whole season is not a cakewalk at all. And people are talking about games that, that are circling games as, as wins. It's, it's, no, we're going to be in the, in tough games. I think it's going to be a lot of tough games, um, possibly low-scoring games. With our defense, I, I'm more confident in the defense than I am the offense, but that's because I haven't seen anything yet. But um, going into the defense, I want to see McKinney because um, – you know, he didn't make any plays last week per se, um, but he didn't make any bad plays either. Um, he had a solid performance. Uh, he's the, he's a communicator. He has that green dot. I just want to see another week. Maybe this week he makes some plays. Um, Darian Beaver showed out, and I believe that Blake Martinez is playing this week, and I don't blame Blake. If the guy that's supposed to be behind me put in a game like that, I'm getting out on that field too. Like, hey. I'm still here. So Blake Martinez will be playing this week against the Bengals. Uh, Tay Crowder is in there as well. Um, again, Dexter Lawrence will be in there. So a lot of those core guys will be playing this week um, outside of, you know, Leonard Williams, um, Jihad Ward, and then Ellison Smith is also out. So I'm just thinking, you know, let's get these guys in there. We, we got Quincy Roche, you know, to help out with the linebackers. Um, and, oh, I almost forgot, Aziz Ojolari is back. Aziz Ojolari is back, and I'm so excited to see what he can do. Um, don't give him a ton of reps. I don't know how healed that hammy is. You know, he's full go in practice. I want to see him play, but don't leave him out there. Um, we need that guy ready for week one, but we also want him to, you know, move within uh, the flow of the system for Wink. And um, Wink spoke yesterday, and he was talking about how Aziz Ojolari looked. Great feet. Um great hands and uh, one thing that he also mentioned was like if you have a linebacker with good hands then you have a linebacker so um i just love all the jewels that uh wink martindale drops and uh, every time he's at the podium i enjoy watching those so it's always a, a, a instant rewatch when um wink martindale is at the podium but um again other than that the udfas um that i have targeted this week again it's timon fox yusef corker austin allen um, they just waved Chris Hinton, the defensive tackle. He was a guy that I wanted to look at some more. But DJ Davidson had a good showing last week, so um, I'm not as upset about that. But again, um, I'm not excited, but I'm also excited, if that makes sense to you you guys out there. But um, what do you guys think? Who are some of the guys that you want to look at this week against the Bengals? What are your concerns about these injuries? Go ahead and put that in the comments below. And again, from one Giants fan to another, I want to thank you guys for vibing with me. Please like, comment, and subscribe. This is Big Dash Knows, Big Blue Nation. Let's go.